Hi, so it's been 10 days that our hives have uh, arrived. This is my neighbor, Natala. She owns the hives with us. But because of uh, social distancing, I will be uh, doing the inspection today. We do the inspection every 10 days. There are specific reasons that we will see later. So what we want to see today is, uh, is the hive progressing. Is the queen laying eggs? That's her job. She should be laying. And are the, be the, the bees building the frames as they should be, even though there's a, still a small population? As you can see, we open the, the doors to the hive a little wider because the weather is warmer. There's more activity in the hive and we'll decide uh, with the population to see if we open the, the, the doors wider. As you can see, I learned to put on my hat correctly. Give a little smoke. We're sending a signal to the, to the bees that there is a danger. They think there's a fire, so they calm down. They, and they fill themselves up with honey in preparation for leaving the hive. This is a, a, an instinctive reaction to a forest fire. So we'll open the outer cover. And the inner cover. Look at the bees. There's many bees here. They built the combs already on an inner cover. They're always building a little, they're always building combs all over the place. A little smoke and we'll take out the first frame. This is a hook hive tool, an important tool when we are working in the hive. We start with the second frame and we see that uh, there's a few bees on here, but uh, they haven't done anything to that frame. They haven't built up the combs at all. We go to the next frame and this frame is a, a frame of syrup that I put in earlier because the weather was not very good. They, they, they weren't going out. So we gave them a bit of food, lots of bees on here. There are uh, lots of dandelions in the, in, the, in the environment right now. This is the first uh, important flower in the spring for the bees and also for the wild bees. Next, oh, look at this. In the bottom of the combs, there are larvae, lots of larvae. They're white and they look like a small shrimp. This is what we're looking for. This is what we're looking for. We need a lot of that. That means that the queen is laying. And here we have the queen. There she is. This is all capped brood. That means that it's at least eight or nine days old. They put on a, a, a film of uh, wax over it at the eighth or ninth day, and the, the 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 bee will grow inside of that until she comes out around twenty four days. This is a frame. We have eggs in here. Lots of eggs. And here we have, uh, you see, this is uh, a comb of drones. The drone cells are bigger than the female cells and they protrude a little bit. This is a, ne they have nectar in here. That means that the, the bees have been bringing in nectar from the flowers. So that's 
that's good news. That means they're foraging outside. This frame has nothing on it. They haven't started building this yet. And this one is the same thing. So is the last one. So we're going to put all 10 frames back in order. The one we took out, we're going to put it back. It doesn't really matter where we put it as long as it's at one hand or the other. We don't put it in the middle because we keep the brood in the middle usually, where it's the warmest part of the hive. Put back the cover, the inner cover. And uh, the outer cover. Here we have the beginnings of a queen cell. See the cell is much bigger than the surrounding cells and it's protruding down, downwards. It's still small, it's still very small. It gets much bigger when, the, when they build it. And there's not no egg in it yet, so we don't have to worry about it right away. But we'll keep an eye on it because we don't want another queen in our hive right away. put back in the frame that we took out at the beginning. Close everything all up, tighten it all up. So now we've decided that we're going to take the doors out, the final door out, make the entrance much wider, much bigger. So the bees can come in here. We have a, a live bee trying to take out a dead bee. Okay, they clean up their hives. They're very clean. They're very clean, so uh, we're going to help them along a little bit. There we go. Open this one up too. So what we see progress it's good the queen is laying a good population of brood eggs larvae and cat brood so we'll check it in in 10 days 